You alright guys, today I'm fishing with Aaron and Richard. Hi there! Yeah. Richard's being unsociable, sitting over there on his Todd. The baits we're using today is small sand eels, squid and frozen black lug. Just went in the freezer really and see what's about. You know, we're down here, hopefully we'll catch something. You never know. Right, just had this, Mr. White in. Getting measured. Hopefully you can pick this up on camera. 28 on the nose. I was using, oh, I was using 28, can you see that? Yeah. I was using double sand eel, or full sand eel, should I say. I'm using a pulley rig. And yeah, let's go put him back. So guys, I'm Rich. Just caught a nice 27, yeah, 27 white in and it's still flapping around. Uh, caught it on a uh, pulley rig uh, with two sandals on it. So, here we go. What are you going to do now? Put him back? I'm definitely going to put him back, yes. Well, I just want to show you how I bait up. There ain't no right or wrong way. This is how I like to do it. Got two black lug together, folded them, and then whipped them up with cotton. Right, I'm just going to get my baiting needle Thread it down like so. So it looks like that. But I'm just going to use a strip of squid. As you can see, I'm going to pierce it right at the top. I'm going to try and bunch it up like that. So it looks like that. So I can get a nice little squid black lug sausage. Wrap it around like so. Yeah, as I said, there ain't no right or wrong way each to their own. It's quite fiddly. You, know, you need a firm grip on it. You know, I like to mummify it so the bait stays on. Like that. Get the hooks. needle down there, thread it on like a ragworm, like so, so it looks like that, get me second hook, bring it down, three or four turns, come in, so it should look like that. The rig I'm using is a pulley rig. I'm using a Shakuma Manta. And I'm pretty sure that's a Kamazan. No, it's a mustard. Mustard. Big gun, 4-0. Big gun, 4-0. Change of leads. I thought I'd give these a go today. This is the Genoi one with the long tail. Just to give it a bit more stability in the air or aerodynamic, whatever you want to call it. Because it's a little bit tackle hungry, sometimes down gill kicker, I'm just using a basic bait stock, nothing expensive, keep it simple. And yeah, quite a streamlined bait. Hopefully, codlin, probably Mr. White will come along or pouting, or maybe a dogfish. Let's hope we catch something else. Alright, there, just caught another little whiting uh, on a pulley rig and uh, used two sand hills stand eels sorry uh, just as uh, last time um, just gonna measure it now right smaller than last time at uh, 24 just gonna put it back now and try something different Tonight, me and Rich and Aaron decided to go out that was down Rat Island. We were down Gill Kicker the other day. We only had three whiting, so it was pretty poor. So we thought we'd give it a go, have a go tonight. This is my first fish of the night. Little pout, let's go put him back. Right, second cast of the night. 
just a little pelt. I think we might start using some of these as live bait. Um, today, myself has got um, a pulley wisher, wishbone dropper. Um, Gavin is using, what are you using, Gavin? Uh, one up, one down. Gavin's using a one up, one down, and the same as Richard. Uh, baits we're using today is freshly dug ragworm. We've got some mackerel, and also we've got some squid. <laughs> right, I've just had the second fish of the night. Nice little schoolie. Right, I'm just going to go through again using the T bar. See, right. With the T bar, stick your line in like so. As you can see, it pops off just as easy as that. You know, when you're unhooking the fish, try and keep it close to the floor. You know, because you could damage them and hurt them. We like to put all our fish back. Try and pick him up for you. As you can see, he's a lively little critter. Shouldn't really hold bass like this, but there you go. Let's go put him back. Right, third cast, third fish, another little white in. Um, let's hope we can get through these because they're starting to wind me up now. <laughs> but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Go straight back. All right, guys, I managed to catch something today. Uh, I think it's a five bearded Brooklyn. Better put it back now before it dies. Behind you. <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm a monster. <laughs> I managed to catch something properly this time. It's a nice little bass. <laughs> I'll put it back now, try and catch something a little bit bigger. Just managed to catch another little bass. Again, uh, I caught it on ragworm. Just just ragworm on a hook, really. Ragworm? Ragworm. 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 <laughs> put it back now. All right, guys, just had a different species. About time. Let's hope some more bass are coming through. Let's hope we can get some bigger ones. Boom, straight back. Alright guys, I'm back down Rat Island with Aaron and Rich, thought we'd give it another go. Last night we got cut off by the tide so we had to rush back because none of us had wellies on. Yeah, so beware of that, keep an eye on your tide times and always keep an eye on the tide. First fish of the night is the whiting, unfortunately, hopefully there's something bigger about, hopefully we can get through these. Same again with the T-bar, I'll show you how to use the T-bar. Right. Put the, teeth, the line in the notch a bit, go down, see like that, pull your line, as easy as that, and yeah, you can go back, alright, there's a bit of blood on him, but you should go back alright, hopefully. But I've just had this little shoulder on ragworm, um, well, I hope I'm just saying it's a little bit bigger, but can't promise everything, you know, fishing's fishing. Caught him on ragworm. The rig I'm using is a one up, one down. Right, I'm gonna go again using this um, Genomide Discorger this time. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. There's a little notch here. You put your line in, like through, like so. And then you, put the, you pull your line at an angle. You hold, push down. Obviously keep the fish close to the floor and it keeps the fish safe. And there you go. You can go back. Right, I've just had this uh, bass. It's not alive. It's been absolutely mullered, as you can see. No tail. We, um, I think it's crabs or lobsters, and we're not quite sure. We thought we'd ask the viewers what you think as to eating this or destroyed it should I say but yeah oh well we'll see what else happens not much is happening it's absolutely bitter outside today so if you ever decide to go fishing when it's cold make sure you wrap up warm and have a nice fire that's what we've got over there and yeah well we'll catch up with you later 
see what else is about. Right, second night on Rat Island. Been very, very slow today. Um, first fish of the night. Actually got a little pout. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.